Okay, so I just took them out of the oven and they're looking pretty good. Oh! Welcome back to another episode of Supernatural Eats. I am currently mid-edit and realized that I forgot to film an intro. So if you remember last time we did cheesesteaks from the episode Hollywood Babylon and there was a lot more food in that episode. So this time we are doing taquitos from the same episode. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when more Supernatural Eats goodness is released. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this time I actually wrote down what I want to do now, and like most recipes, um, this, this first one I just looked up the basic Instant Pot times for making shredded chicken, and I'm going to try and incorporate how long it really takes because I currently have a problem with Instant Pot recipes. They never incorporate into the time how long it takes to actually heat up and pressurize. So for what I saw to make shredded chicken, it said you're going to pressure cook for 10 minutes. Um, it takes a lot longer than 10 minutes. I mean, you read these recipes and you think, oh yeah, I can make that in 15 minutes. Great. And then it, it takes so much longer. Most of the recipes call for a pound of chicken. I made chicken cacciatore earlier in the week and I had frozen and um, I'm going to say about six chicken breasts is probably what a pound is. It's close. I had, I had bought close to two pounds to make the previous recipe and used half. I have half left and it was about three chicken breasts a piece. Um, my grocery store had little chicken tenders cut so you know same deal. I'm going to put the chicken in there. I am going to season it up with a little taco seasoning. I buy the prepackaged taco seasoning and I just put it in a little airtight container and then I can use as much or as little when I want and it stays fresh. So I'm going to sprinkle my chicken with a little taco seasoning. The magic, if you will, of the Instant Pot, you need liquid in order for the Instant Pot to work its magic. The liquid that I am going to be using to make this shredded chicken for the taquitos is salsa. So I picked a salsa that I like. And again, this is, I picked a salsa that I like. And again, this is going to add flavor to the chicken, which is going to become the inside of the taquito. Uh, the, the recipe that I saw for shredded chicken was a cup of chicken broth. And the recipe that I saw for taquitos was, I think, about a cup of salsa. So I'm just going to lay the salsa in here, give it, that's probably more than a cup, but should be good, right? I may just put the whole jar of salsa in here. Hope that's enough liquid. Um, okay, so again, pressure cook it for 10 minutes, and then you're going to natural steam release for five and then quick steam for the rest of it. So let's give this a try and hope hope it works. So here's here's the chicken and uh, the taco seasoning and the salsa. Gonna set this to pressure cook for 10 minutes and I will keep time to let you know how long it actually takes. There we go. Okay. So, doo -doo -doo, pressure cook. Oops. For 10 minutes. Okay. Pressure cook for 10 minutes. I'll be back to let you know the actual amount of time. Okay, see, this is what I mean. So, you can definitely tell it's on. There's steam coming out. So, it's definitely on. It says it's on. However, it hasn't even started the pressure cooking cycle yet. So if you do get an Instant Pot, um, I don't know why, but every time I use it, I just get really scared because the recipes don't take into account that heating up and pressurization time. So just remember when you're cooking with an Instant Pot, it does take that extra time. Okay, so the burn warning came on before it even seems like it started to pressure cook. But, um, the chicken pretty much looks cooked. I cut some in half, 
and it's cooked. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to shred it because with the taquitos, I'm going to bake it in the oven. So that should finish any cooking cycle. So I'm going to take two forks and I'm going to shred this. Um, so I'll be right back. All right. Uh, the chicken shredded really nice. I hope, I hope you can see this because it smells fantastic. And I got to tell you, I did, I taste a little and combination of the taco seasonings and the mild salsa that I picked adds a nice little kick to it. So now I'm going to um, spray my Pyrex, my Mr. Misto. If you get your hands on one of these, it's a great way to cut down on like even oh, the cooking spray. So the recipe I found for taquitos, uh, it was basically just your seasoned shredded either chicken or beef and then you roll it up in the tortilla and you fry it or bake it. I am also gonna try and put a little bit of cheese in mine just cause I like cheese. And that I think I'll just add a little. So you're just gonna take your meat, a nice, uh, maybe not, not too much cause you gotta roll it, but a good, a good amount. And then I'm going to take a little cheese. If I can get it open. I have an issue. And I have um, a Mexican shredded blend. So I'm just going to... Enough for cheesing it, but not enough to add too many calories. Okay, and then I'm going to roll it and I probably didn't even do that right. Oh, these are ginormous. That is ginormous compared to the one that Dean eats. But you gotta love it. You know, we offer Sam one again, says they're fantastic. So let's give this a shot. All right, we're gonna roll this one a little different, put a little less, yeah, say a little less meat and then I add more on. little cheese and then we're going to try and roll this one a little tighter okay so that one's a little better still still thicker I think than the ones that Dean's eating or if you buy say um, the Jose Ole ones frozen in, in the frozen food section so I'm gonna continue to fill this tray and I'll be back when I'm done uh, rolling my taquitos. Okay, and two things, I guess I should have said that, yeah, overall it probably did only take about 10 minutes um, without the heating up, because I guess the heating up burnt it. So next time I should probably put salsa and then lay the chicken and then more salsa on top. Um, the other thing is I have preheated the oven for 425 degrees. So now I am going to spray the top of this with more of the oil and then it's going to go into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so I just took them out of the oven and they're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to plate a couple and let them cool. Again, they're, <laughs> they're bigger than the ones featured on Supernatural and they could probably be just as portable. But, uh, oh, they smell good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to plate some so it can cool down. I'm going to plate the big one. And, oh, they do steam a little stiff. Oh. Got that chicken. And um, the one picture I saw with the taquito recipe it had it topped with, you know, what you would see in a restaurant with the shredded lettuce, some sour cream, and, and all of that stuff. But I am going to try mine like Dean did, and I'm just going to pick it up and eat it when it's cool. I kind of can't wait any longer. They smell so good. Oh, that is really good. Um, so as Dean would say, um, have one. They're fantastic. All right, for those of you who stuck around to the end, I'm going to do a bonus recipe. I'm going to do Thanksgiving leftover fusion taquitos. 
So in case you want something different with your leftovers than a hot turkey sandwich or an open-faced turkey sandwich or even turkey pot pie, we're going to take the best parts of Thanksgiving, wrap it in a tortilla, and make it crispy and portable and handheld. So the first step is obviously going to be to heat up your leftovers so that we can kind of mold and fuse it into the taquito. Okay, so the leftovers are heated just enough to make them a little bit more uh, pliable because again, they're gonna be cooking inside the taquito. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray the bottom of my pan. And I use um, olive oil cooking spray for this. Make sure you get, uh, you know, everything that you had for Thanksgiving. So I have mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, stuffing, corn, turkey, and gravy. I'm going to grab one of my tortillas. I'm going to stick some, a little bit of everything in it. Oops. Corn and green bean casserole. A little bit of stuffing. Some mashed potato. Get these. <laughs> These are going to be a lot thicker than the other ones. That tortilla was a little lopsided. And continue to do this until you have as many taquitos as you want. Or you're out of leftovers, whichever comes first. And if you wanted to, you could just do the, the turkey and the gravy. Okay, so now they're all wrapped and in. I'm again going to coat with the cooking spray on the top. And I'm going to stick them in. And it's 425, I looked it up, so 425 for 15 to 20 minutes. They smell pretty good. Let's take them out to cool, or let's plate two of them. This one will be easy because it got the toothpick in it. Take the next one. Okay, and again, I baked them to keep them on the healthier side. You could actually fry these, and that would have had a... I think that would add a whole different level. Um, so while he's cool, I'd love to know your favorite way to enjoy your Thanksgiving leftovers. I think they're cooled off enough, so let's, let's give a little nibble. Mmm. Not bad. Again, I just thought it would be fun to do a different take on the taquitos. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe. And until next time.